Hi, I'm Duncan Tattersall. I'm an artist and designer based in Bristol. And for the past couple of years, I've been working with Landmark's furnishings team, making the screen printed curtains, which are a trademark of many of the trust's properties. My involvement has included designing new patterns for Landmark's most recently completed restoration projects, such as Dunshay Manor in Dorset and Cobham Dairy in Kent. And I'm also reviving many of Landmark's older patterns for buildings with original hand-printed curtains in need of replacement. Bespoke screen-printed curtains are a real tradition within Landmark. Um, they go back to the very early days of the charity. Um, and they were originally uh, conceived by Lady Smith, who was Landmark's co-founder, along with Sir John Smith. Um, and really, from the very early days, Lady Smith was responsible for the furnishing of properties once the restoration works were complete. And um, I believe she was involved in every aspect of that, um, sourcing furniture and also textiles. And the story goes that uh, she was frustrated at the difficulty in finding suitable textiles for the kind of properties that Landmark was taking on and restoring and looking to present in a particular way. So at some point or another, um, she had the, the thought to um, actually print textiles specifically for landmark buildings. I've, I've done a fair bit of research into um, all the landmark designs that, that are known to exist. And I think the earliest that I've been able to date roughly are about in the mid 1970s. So that's about 10 years after landmark started, whether that is indeed the very first, I'm not entirely sure, but there are a number of designs um, still hanging in properties that were opened around 1974-1975. Um, Lady Smith printed her last pair in 2012. The, the very final ones that she did were for the Warren House in Cambridgeshire, which have uh, these lovely rabbits on them. it's again been a few years between then and when I uh, picked up from her um, and I did my first curtains uh, in 2018 so um, the inspiration it can be quite varied um, again having looked back through a lot of the designs uh, some are quite easy to place um, they can be quite literal copies of a detail an architectural detail in the property itself um, like a piece of plaster work or a wall painting. Sometimes they're kind of imagined and it's to do with um, something to do with the history's past or its previous occupants or the building's use, uh, much like the, uh, the rabbits at the Warren House, fish uh, which appear on the curtains at Coop House. So yes, the, um, the kind of starting point for the designs can vary. And then there's also quite, quite a number that uh, don't appear to necessarily be specific to any property, but sort of became stock landmark designs, if you like, uh, kind of just nice floral, quite simple um, patterns that just suit suit um, the period of buildings and the sort of general style that landmark goes for with its interiors. I use uh, a similar approach in terms of um, starting point for design uh, to create uh, basically a motif, um, bearing in mind that that needs to be repeated to, to become a successful pattern. And from there, from developing the design, um, which I was doing consultation with John Everts, Landmark's furnishings manager, then it's um, down to the printing, which um, is done on uh, quite a small scale. So currently I'm reprinting the original design for Gurney Manor in Somerset um, and that is an example of a design that is um, very literal to, to what it's taken from. It's a, a fleur-de-lis motif uh, which appears in a section of plasterwork ceiling in the manor and I think Gurney Manor was finished in about 1992 uh, so the curtains have been hanging up since then 
and um, yeah, some of them are in need of replacement. So we're copying the design uh, faithfully to the original and uh, printing new ones just to freshen them up. Um, again, very much following in the footsteps of Lady Smith's own approach to printing her curtains. Um, she always worked on quite small screens, which were repeated horizontally as well as vertically down the fabric. Uh, so usually I'll be printing three or four um, blocks of pattern across the width of fabric and then repeating that um, for the desired length uh, for any given window. And yes, I guess it, it's fairly time consuming. I think like all things like this, you just tend to get lost in it and lose track of time. Um, but yes, although the basic process stays the same, you kind of have to get to know each new design you're doing as well. Um, and because all of the, the registration, so kind of how the pattern fits together, I basically do all of that just by eye and by judgment. Um, you kind of you need to gain a certain level of familiarity with how that pattern uh, links up and repeats. Um, and that normally takes, you know, a couple of first attempts to, to get used to. And then hopefully you find a rhythm with that and um, print the pattern without too many mishaps. Uh, but uh, again, because it's a very handmade process, then there always are these kind of idiosyncrasies in, in how it's finished, which I think is, is all part of the charm, really. I've used a few different types of fabric, um, just depending on, on the need of the property really, whether a lighter weight is sufficient um, or something heavier. Uh, and sometimes I interline curtains as well, if, um, if they need to have that, that thermal element to them. Um, but generally I just try to go for natural fibres as much as possible, particularly linen and cotton. Um, and sometimes you use things that are mixed with a bit of synthetic as well, which really help with um, the, uh, uh, the strength of the fabric. And um, obviously, we're hoping that these curtains will hang for many, many years, as many of Lady Smith's have. Um, so, kind of wear, um, wear and tear and washability are, are very much in the forefront of um, that decision-making process as well. Um, so, yes, yeah, there's a few different fabrics that I use. Um, well, personally, I really love lots of the ones that uh, feature animals, um, of which there are quite a number. I also really love the chickens that hang at Poultry Cottage, they're really fun. Uh, actually I think one of one of the nicest is at Doll Belladir uh, where the um, a detail from a design of a frontispiece of the uh, dictionary that was written there was used and again just copied quite um, quite in a quite straightforward manner but the way in which it repeats just forms this really beautiful pattern uh, so that's a real standout one for me as well <laughs> 